Rumors of the next generation iPhone point to an early launch in 2014. iOS 7 finally gets jailbroken even though there is a catch and Samsung is clearly cheaping out on their Galaxy commercials. I'm Jaime Rivera and please raise your hand who wants my Amazon wishlist for Christmas. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as iOS 7 has finally been jailbroken. Yeah, Evasion is working for pretty much every device that's compatible with iOS 7, but there is a catch. Sadly, even though you can jailbreak your device, Cydia is not yet compatible for it. So even though you will be able to hack your phone, you pretty much won't be able to install anything or at least nothing that's actually compelling. So anyways, link to the description for the procedure and let us know if you're still doing it. And speaking of Apple, if you are planning on jailbreaking your device, apparently iOS 7.1 will not be ready until March. It seems that the changes are quite significant, up to the point where Apple needs more time to build this, and we really need this update as many of us are having issues with our iPhones getting reset, like if we were jailbroken. But aside from that, it seems that Apple is apparently planning to launch their next generation iPhone earlier. It seems that they're planning on doing a WWDC launch, just like they did with the iPhone 4, which kind of makes sense since Galaxy phones get announced in May, and and we do know that Apple is kind of getting desperate there. And speaking of Nokia and its money penny codename smartphone, well, we've got some screenshots from the phone, and yes, it is confirmed that we are getting the software buttons and not the capacitive buttons that we currently have on Windows Phone devices, so expect that for Windows Phone 8.1. But even more interesting is that apparently this will be a dual SIM phone, which doesn't necessarily mean a good thing because this is popular in emerging markets and in Asia, but not in the United States. So let's see how that goes. Hopefully it won't be a Asia-only phone. Now let's talk about Samsung as we've always praised the company for their marketing of Galaxy devices and that is just about to end. We talked last week about the company cutting down their cost on marketing and apparently we're just seeing the first results of that as we've got this ad for the Galaxy Gear of this guy hitting on a girl with all the features of his Galaxy Gear and the ad is so badly made, so terribly produced uh, that it's just become a very big viral video on YouTube and I don't know if they did that on purpose or what but it's just so bad that please link to the description watch the video and laugh with us it's kind of worth it and samsung definitely needs to get their act together and finally for the interesting news of the day we've got the internet full of mock-ups of the galaxy s5 with a curved display but some interesting reports from some trusted sources apparently linked to the fact that the company is not planning on launching a curved display on the galaxy s apparently they're planning on making something more like the note 3 and it seems that the curved design is going to be left for the end of the year which which is the time when the Note 4 is going to be launched. So it seems that the Note 4 is going to be the next phone with a curved display. So let's hope they get this one right. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. How important is a curved display for you on your next purchase? Is that something you will be looking for? Because in my particular case, I am getting the Note 4, but curved display or not, that's just me. But leave us a comment down below. What are your plans? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier or before this video is filmed, actually follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.